After the panel, it's a significant new feature on the HRP Service PBX that offers extension users a visualized graphical interface to supervise and manage costs in process within a telephony system. In this video, we will show you how to activate and customize Opera the panel for an extension according to stuff function. We're going to take extension 1000 as an example, set the system step by step to enable the Opera the panel for extension 1000 to manage costs that involve the tech support team with the ASTRP service PBX. All right, here we go and check this out. Let's log into the P service PBX as the super administrator. The first thing we need is to make sure we have the tech support team configured already in the system. We can go to extension and trunks, click on the extension group on the left side column. On PSERIS PBX, we put our extension users of a department into one extension group so that they will be displayed as one department in the operator panel. At the same time, function as a team member to manage costs according to their authorization. So here in this list, we can see all extension groups. Likely, they're created for different departments. We can have some modifications to these existing groups or just create a new one. Well, since we mentioned a tech support team, let's go add one. Name it first. Then in select members, we choose specific extensions. In the extension list, we can put every extension user of the tech support team in the group. Don't forget to include extension 1000. Then we move on to the group permission page for further configuration. Just give it a check on the group information visibility to make sure the tech support team is visible to extension 1000 first. Here we got three options, visible to all extensions. Once selected, this group will be visible to everyone. And we can also choose visible to extensions in this group which means that only extensions within this group can see it. And if we need to limit the visibility to this group for some authorized extensions only, whether it's in the group, we can choose visible to specific extensions. Here, we select visible to extensions in this group. Then we continue to permission configuration. There are two preset roles, manager and user. And here we got all their available operations. We can customize the role by selecting operations according to the departmental function. Now we're supposed to set the operational availability of extension 1000. Let's switch it back to basic. In the selected column, we can click edit on extension 1000 to manage its user type, manager or user. However, if neither of them is what we need for extension 1000, we can click on custom, check each operation that we want, then grant it to extension 1000 manually. Let's see we take call distribution and call monitoring. Save this and apply for it. Now we have the extension group of tech support. The visibility and the operational availability of this extension group are well configured. By the way, the previous configuration can be realized in extension setting as well. Go to Extension and Trunks. Click on Extension. Find Extension 1000 in the list. Click on Edit. Get into the setting page of this extension. Then we enter the link as client's level. Here, we can add this extension to other extension groups and customize its operation availability as well. Now, we can access the operator panel with the extension 1000. We can check the sidebar on the left to get the operator panel. We will see the tech support extension group is visible to extension 1000. We can distribute costs with drag and drop and operate costs by right click. Besides, the call monitor feature is also available by right click. Anyway, that was the basic configuration of the operator panel. Honestly, it's highly flexible for customization. We can manage sophisticated authorization for all kinds of systems easily. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Need more information about Yaystar P Series PBX? Don't forget to subscribe and visit yaystar.com.